Yes, you can still downgrade iOS 16.1 or 16.1.1 to iOS 15. All that you need is a computer, an USB to lightning cable, and to follow the steps described in this video. First of all, open settings, go to your Apple ID, uh, tap on Find My and make sure that Find My iPhone is turned off. Next, connect your iPhone to your computer using the USB-C to lightning cable. Open Finder and tap on your iPhone's name in the Location section. Now, you have to perform an encrypted backup of your iPhone. If you're using a Windows computer, uh, steps are similar. You have to use iTunes software instead of Finder. While the backup process is ongoing, I recommend you to download the iOS 15.6 release candidate IPSW file from the link provided in the description of this video. Choose the appropriate iPhone model and download it, uh, the file on your computer. When the download process completes, return to Finder and press the Option key on your Mac's keyboard and click in the same, same time on Restore iPhone in Finder to be able to select the IPSW uh, file that you've just downloaded. And yes, you have to download iOS 15.6 RC version because that's the only version still signed by Apple. Uh, click Restore to acknowledge the process. Again, if you're using a Windows computer instead of a Mac, tap the Shift key on the keyboard before clicking Restore iPhone. From now on, you have to be patient until uh, the Mac is uh, preparing to restore the software of your iPhone. The restore process actually starts and you can see the iPhone screen turns black. You get the Apple logo on the screen and the whole process is ongoing. Basically, now all the content on your iPhone is er erased and iOS 15.6 is installed on your device. Just uh, don't touch anything until the progress bar completes and your iPhone will automatically reboot. It will soon disappear from the Finders menu right before rebooting. As you can see here. Okay, now it's rebooting. And you get the hello screen. Just swipe up, but don't do anything else. Return to Finder, click iPhone in the locations in sidebar, and now wait for it to activate, and you'll have to restore your device using the backup that you previously created. However, before you click continue, you have to tweak the backup because you're coming from a higher iOS version and it won't work. For this, you have to open the link provided in the description and copy the following string containing library applications and the mobile scene folder. Then you have to open Spotlight Search using the command plus shift keyword combo. Okay, now use command plus V keyboard uh, to paste the string, to paste the string and double click on the mobile sync folder double click backup and now select the most recent backup that you've created double click and right click on the info that playlist file choose open with text edit and now scroll 
all the way down until you reach product version. Okay, here, yeah, here it is. Let me zoom in. And you have to modify 16.1 because this was the old uh, the version of your backup to 15.6 to the version that you are downgrading to. Okay, now save the file using the Control plus S keyboard combo and you're ready to go. Return to Finder. Yeah. Select the backup from the list and click on Continue. Provide the password for this backup because it's encrypted. The one you've set when you initially performed the backup. And now you see the restore is in progress. And all the data on your device will be restored as it was in 16.1. When the process completes, iPhone reboots again and you will see the hello screen. Yep, here it is. You're also informed by the restore completed screen on your iPhone uh, and then go through the normal setups uh, steps, create a new passcode. It can be identical with your old one, sign up into your Apple ID, uh, set up face ID if you want and yeah, wait until the iCloud settings are updated, uh, enable or disable location services. Uh, decide whether you want to send iPhone al analytics or not. And that's it. Welcome to iPhone. And as you can see, I'm going to settings general about and iOS 15.6, 19G69, bill number is confirmed. Okay, so now what's left is just to go to the software update section and you'll see iOS 15.7.1 available. So you can hit download and install, follow the on-screen prompts and install uh, this latest iOS 15 version on your iPhone. That's it. You've successfully downgraded from iOS 16.1 to 15.7.1. Hope this video helped you out. If it did, don't hesitate to like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.